Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is December 12th and it looks like Samsung just pushed out a brand new software update for the Galaxy Note 10 devices. And I also heard that there is a brand new update with the Android 11 Samsung One UI 3.0 that was pushed out for the AT&T carrier locked Galaxy Note 20 devices. Now they're being pushed out in different time zones at different points in the day. So you will be wanting to take a look at your Galaxy Note 20 devices if you're part of AT&T. Now this update here for the Galaxy Note 10 devices, this version ends in DTKA. Its size is 205 megabytes and it brings you that December 1st security patch. Now I did go through just a few applications. I'm not gonna go through too many just to see if there's any newer versions of applications. So really I just took a look at the gallery. I took a look at the camera and then we're taking a look at the biometrics for the fingerprint and the face recognition. So not many today. Uh, and then we'll also take a look at the Galaxy Store just to see if anything was also released after this update. So if you wanna take a look for this update, you wanna to go to the very top, you hit on the settings icon on the very top. Then you can go all the way down to the very bottom where it says software update. Then you go inside of download and install. So we're gonna go in and, and ahead and install this. And you do wanna make sure that this one is connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, and then once it installs and it downloads, uh, then we're able to take a look at a few things here. But it's usually at this point in the video, I'd like to say if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest updates. And make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And again, if you have a Galaxy Note 20 device and it is carrier locked of AT&T, please write a comment below the video inside the description letting me know if you received that update. Now, my Galaxy Note 20 device is a unlocked phone, so I did not see it yet. I looked and pushed about four times. I even put it inside of that Hawaii time zone trying to see if it was maybe pushed out over there first, uh, but uh, no luck there. So again, uh, mine is unlocked, didn't get it. If you have AT&T locked Note 20, 20, write a comment below the video if you got it or not. So the software update is done and complete. So we're just going to go through a few of these different applications that I looked at before the update. Now also too, if you guys are getting that brand new Samsung One UI 3.0 update with Android 11, and if you wanted to learn everything it's able to do, I did make an ultimate guide. I'll place it right here in this card. You can tap that card and be able to learn everything that's brand new on Samsung One UI 3.0. So the first one that I did take a look at was the version of just gallery. I just kind of chose a few things at the very beginning because sometimes some of these do get newer versions, but usually most of the time it's just a software patch. A lot of things in the background that most people don't really even need to know or really care about. And sometimes it even brings newer applications to be able to be downloaded through the Galaxy Store. So take a look at this version here. This is the gallery. So originally it was 11.524. So this one here is 11.524. So there's no newer version of gallery, uh, but you will get a new version when One UI 3.0 does come out. Inside of the camera, inside of the app info. Again, this one also has a newer version when it comes out to Samsung One UI 3.0. Originally it was 10.516. This one's 10.516. Now, before we go inside the Galaxy Store, just to see if there's any newer updates for applications, we're gonna go inside the settings. We'll take a look at the biometrics. Um, so if we go inside of the biometric security patch, inside of here, you can take a look at the fingerprint and face recognition. So originally for fingerprint, it was 50022. Uh, so fingerprint on this one's the exact same version. And then for the face recognition, it was 2123. 2123. So really nothing new on the foreground of what we were able to take a look at in terms of just those four small little quick applications. Now let's go inside of the Galaxy Store. Let's take a look just to see if there was anything new up over here. Um, now there was originally four of them here. So if you have not looked inside of your Galaxy Store application yet, you might see some of these as well. This update was pushed out on December 11th. This one's for the Samsung Capture. So this will be something that'll be adding into that camera. So uh, let's see, now let's move right on back. Let's take a look at the next one, Samsung Visit In. So with this one over here, this one was pushed out on December 10th. So just a couple days ago, let's go ahead and update this as well. Uh, then we'll go inside of Audible for Samsung. Scroll down, this update was pushed out again on the 10th, so we'll update that one as well. And then this uh, Samsung Galaxy Friends, uh, and down here, this one was pushed out 
just yesterday. So it looks like there's been four different updates for the Galaxy Note 10 at least for those four applications within the last two days. So that is it for today's video. If you guys do have a Galaxy Note 10 device, take a look inside your settings. There should be an update there waiting for you for the December security patch. Honestly, I feel it's pretty late. We're already 12 days into the month. Usually Samsung can push it out within the first five days, but it looks like a lot of things are getting ready with Samsung One UI 3.0. More devices are being pushed out. They're trying to get everything released before the Galaxy S21. Uh, and if you have a Galaxy Note 20 device, at and carrier locked take a look see if you have that stable public release you know push to your phone for 3.0 write a comment below the video other than that I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later